Thank you for inviting these wonderful young people. They are absolutely yeah. great. They are. Yeah. 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 They've done an excellent job. And let me just, first of all, you know, as a, as a professor, I have to fight uh, myself because I'm constantly teaching. My children always say, Dad, stop teaching. <laughs> and I come from a long line of preachers and teachers from the heart of Mississippi, so I guess it's in right. my DNA. Okay. But the first thing I want to talk about, and I'm glad uh, Brother Philip brought it up, I put this agenda together in four different uh, areas. <clears throat> the first area is, of course, economic development and self-sufficiency. The second area is, of course, human development. The third area, political empowerment. And the last area is international development, i.e. hooking up with our brethren in Africa. But I left out purposely that fifth dimension, which is so extremely important, and that was mentioned by uh, Brother Philip, and that's that African spirituality. And, and I don't know how, I don't know if you really understand and appreciate the importance of African spirituality. Because I contend that the only reason you and I are sitting here today, talking out of the sides of our mouth, wearing clothes from all over the world, not, nothing made from, by African people, is because those people who came over on that slave boat brought with them, young man, Mr. Robert, African spirituality. And that spirituality was so deep embedded in them until they were able to survive the slave regime. Right. And it's the only thing that allowed them to survive. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at all the material things, there's nothing else that can explain it. And you know what? They had a mantra. They went to bed every night. And they said, Dear God, give me one more day to fight this monster to make life better for my children. Every single day they said that. And we have to, we have to thank them for that. Which means then, as Jesse Jackson says, we cannot do less than our best. We don't have the, the pleasure That's right. of doing less than our best. That's right. Okay? That's right. Because they would love to have had a beautiful place like this to meet with lights and you know, all this other They had to meet in the, in the, down in the woods by a cannon. Okay? The other thing I'd like to do is, is look at this whole question of gentrification. We 